Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wogi here, and I'm back with uh, Ore Collection, which is probably going to be the last time until um, maintenance is over. I wanted to do this one, even though it was a very quick update, but it was an update nonetheless. So, um, last time I did this video, we did not have an actual starting date. We now do. It is the 19th, so as of this video, it's going to be Tuesday, so it should be in one to two days basically because I should know one two three because I'll be releasing this on Saturday anyway it's gonna start there and then the maintenance is expected to last a week or two now I don't I don't I don't believe I don't have any reason to think that it shouldn't go longer than that but also this is our collection and our collection has a very bad habit of kind of going um, longer than expected but anyway, it should be only a, uh, at most, currently, they say, after a week or two, basically Ore 2 will be up and running, and Ore 1 will be effectively kaputo. Done. No more. So, yeah. I just wanted to also talk about, so, on the transfer over, if you did not know this, and funny enough, if you got a chance, I would say you should start Ore Collection now. If you're interested in Ore Collection 2, you should play Ore Collection now and try to get as much jump orbs as you can by playing story mode and then just kind of being like, okay, that's it done. Um, so let me tell you what's going to be transferring over. Your user ID, that's transferring over. Your username, that's Trump transferring over. Your jump orbs, which are these little Skittles looking things at the top, those are transferring over. Um, as you'll see right here, as I try and go into the shop, they will not let you buy any more because they're just 100% like done. What? 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 Mm -hmm. uh, never mind. Fine. Again, you shouldn't buy anything from this damn store because, first of all, that's not a good price. I'm telling you right now. Don't buy anything. But regardless, um, your orb amount will transfer over. And for a starting new account, you can just get a bunch of orbs and boom. The current rate is, let me see, I believe it's 250 a multi. I was correct. 250 for a multi. Ooh. I got a, a ticket multi, so we might as well do it. So here's the thing. Those tickets aren't transferring over, so I'm doing them regardless. Let's see if I could get anything. Based on the fact that it's taking a while to load, I think I'm going to get something. Let's see. And then I'll go back into actually talking about um, the game itself. Things that will not transfer over and such. Because it's a lot of stuff that's not going to transfer over, if I'm being 100% honest. Kenshiro. Basketball man. Bakugo. Five Bakugo? Is that really how you're gonna... I know the real way they sent me off was with a, a five Naruto, finally. Uh, that five Bakugo completely killed... Oh, wow! What? Okay, this... Uh, that's hilarious, because I basically got a three form of what was going to be a... Um, I forgot his name. It's Raul or something? No, it's not Raul. It's Super Saiyan Blue. Um... This guy right here, um, the reason I call him Super Saiyan Blue is because he turns into, he's the original Super Saiyan Blue. Um, let me see if I can show him off real quick. I should have him max, right? I should have him max, right? Let me see. Should be in the reds at the very least. Do, what, do I not have him? Am I crazy? I should have him. Um, uh, sorry everyone, this is completely killing my, uh, there he is. I knew I had him. Come on, show him. Yeah. Alright. Uh, back to the video. I can't remember his name. If you remember his name, please tell me. Here are the things that are not going to be transferring over. I should have just kept on that screen. Um, this is not like there's anything else to say. Let me see. Who's a good guy? Who has fantastic art in this game? Uh, let's do Yusuke. That's Torko. Torko did not have... Oh, he would have been great if they had gone to the later parts, though. There we go. Um, Here's the things that will not be transferring over. Your collection level, your stamina, your character cards. Meaning, this Yusuke here, you're not getting him. You're not having him. Special evolution materials, character tickets jump gold 
memorial points, scene cards, skill scrolls, metal, stamina bottles, overboost soda, dumbbells, including bench press, gold cards, coma, gold, gold boost items, arena stamina, all forms of gacha tickets, box expansions, arena points, arena rank, exchange points, follower list, contents of your gift box. None of that's going to come over. So if you have stuff in your gift box, accept it now. All these characters that you've collected not coming over. We've known that since it was announced, honestly. Um, this is 100% a completely new game when it's shif shifting over to 3D. So or collection as you know it is gone. Now, that's not to say you won't be compensated for the fact that you pulled a whole bunch. Here's the two compensations, which are, you know, up to you. For every 20 jump orbs spent, regardless of the situation, receive one three-star or higher confirmed gacha ticket, and for every day you log in, you receive five jump orbs. And this is important. Do not delete the application. You should have the application installed when this happens. So this is your one shot, last chance, seriously. Uh, if you want any of these types of rewards, play War Collection now, have it installed, be ready. Um, because let me tell you, it's a lot of stuff to miss out on if you just literally uninstalled it for whatever reason. Um, for an obvious reason, because you know, did not deserve your time after it was gone. I get you. Um, now here's the thing let's assume that so here's something that i'm not 100 percent sure of and thankfully i've spent a lot of orbs in general so i don't really have to worry about it all that much um but let's assume 250 i should have a buttload how much basically i'm wondering how much does others to other are those tickets going to matter in the long scheme of things because if it turns out the tickets are better i should really just get the tickets that's my current thinking but it's hard to know, like, how do I not know if three is, like, the limit? Because if you see here, um, in, uh, in Orc Collection Regular, there's actually, the lowest rank is three. So guaranteed three star in terms of what Orc Collection means, that means I'm just getting a base form. That doesn't make any sense. Unless the, now obviously there are two and ones, but the two ones are, like, let me see if I can find a quick two. Um... Because I should have... No? Alright, let me quickly pull for a 2. And let me show you them. Because 2s do exist, by the way. Um, they're in here. Okay, let me quickly go in here. Do a 10 multi. See if I can give you a 2 to show off. Okay, go down. Boom. I'm gonna just quickly just skip it all, because who cares? Okay, see that's a two, and you can actually go down to one. There is a card here that is one star and stuff. Um, so I don't know if like guaranteed three. In terms of the parlance of or collection, when you're summoning, you're always getting a guaranteed three. So what does that mean in game? Um, and also the star ratings in here were super messed up. Like, like as you saw here, like sometimes. When you awaken someone, they were three. So what if I'm this ticket's giving me a guaranteed two star that was just awakening the three, like pulling some Dokkan battle shit? That's the thing I'm trying to think of when I'm trying to decide. So right now, I think the safe bet is just stick with orbs because orbs is currency or orbs is money. A ticket is nothing. That's what I'm currently saying. And also, we don't know if they can limit the tickets. Like, let me show you here. Like, Core Collection gave a buttload of tickets, and as you could see here, I could use regular tickets on banners and stuff like this. But that's not to say that tickets like um, like this, like special tickets. This is a specialty ticket. Um, let me see. Do I have a guaranteed five ticket? I, I do, actually. So I'm going to use it real quick. Uh, that's what I'm going to kind of end it off on. Um, get ready for Collection 2, man. I don't know. I'm definitely going to be playing it because, first of all, I should be... I don't, the gotcha landscape has changed in a year, I'll say. I don't know if, like, they'll be ready to... Ha, ah, Zoro. That's funny. I don't know how War Collection is going to do in the new landscape, especially since, like, its prices were always ridiculous. And the thing that kept War Collection going for a lot of people was the fact that there were vendors. And vendors made it so, like, yeah, I can spend some cash that would literally take... Like, for example, I want to say it was as crazy as you could spend $20 on a vendor in War Collection or spend the exact same money over $100 
to get half of what a vendor was giving you. That's how crazy the ore collection prices were at the time. So I don't know. We'll see. Get ready for ore collection. If you have any other questions, I really do think you should hook, um, look up OCHD. I follow him on Twitter and stuff, so you can easily find him there. I'll leave his Twitter in the description because he, they, the people working at OCHD, and I say working, uh, you know, it's their job, whatever. They do a lot of translations and stuff. They were the reason, like, I was able to get into ore collection in general. So definitely check them out, and I'll see you when ore collection 2 is coming, man. But this is it. Goodbye, ore collection. Is there a sad One Piece one I can leave you off on? I think there is. All right. Let me find it. it has to be. One Piece is 1990s, right? I'm not crazy in thinking it's 2000s, right? Oh, if Hunter x Hunter is. No, One Piece has to be 90s. Japan 90s. If it's not, yeah, there it is. Um. All right, everyone. This is goodbye. And I'll see you when War Collection 2 shows up. Load. <laughs>